right, Algebra 1, Lesson 111, 111. This one is on moral conjunctions in this, and then disjunctions, okay? So basically what you're going to learn how to do is things like this. For example, let's write down this one. Um, they're going to say graph, and then they're going to give you this weird-looking problem. Negative 5 is less than or equal to x minus 4 which is less than 2, okay? And then your domain, or what you're graphing, D is domain, you're just, that's just showing you what you're graphing. They're wanting you to graph integers. Now I'll explain all of that in just a second. Okay, so here's my graph. Zero, um, let's go seven, negative seven. Okay, now, the first thing you're gonna do, as you can see, there are many different minus and pluses and stuff like that, okay? Um, what I want you to do is remember how you have to pretend like these are equal sign for just a minute. And then you may even want to write equal on these spots and then change them later. Um, however you like to work. I'm going to cover up one of the equal signs and the number with it for just a minute so that it looks like this. Alright, now what would you do, I'm going to bring it down here, x minus 4, and I am going to use the equal sign for just a minute just to show you something. What would I do here? I would want to get my x by itself. So this minus 4, I'd move across the equal, which would become plus 4, okay? And so then I moved it across the equal. Oh, my line time. Okay, so I would move it across the equal. And so then I would get x equals negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. So x equals negative 1. But remember, it's not equals, it's this. So I'm going to change it back. So don't forget to do that. All right? Now, that's my first example answer. Okay? I've covered up that equal 2. Now, this time I'm going to cover up this equal negative 5 and answer for this one. So I'm going to bring it down here. x minus 4 is less than 2. Again, I'm going to change my less than 2 to equal. A lot of people like to do that. It makes it easier. If it doesn't matter to you, don't worry about it. Then I'm going to get my x by itself. So this minus 4 is going to come across here. It's going to become plus 4. So then x equals 6. But it's not equals. It's less than. Alright? Now, we broke down this huge hard problem and basically made two problems. Okay? And so I'm going to say x is less than 6, and then I'm going to make this one say x is whatever. So I'm going to put the x on this side, so this one will be reversed. Um, so x is greater than, see how the open mouth is with the x? So x is with the open mouth, and then negative 1. All right, so x is greater than or equal to negative 1, and x is less than 6. So let's graph that. Now, we're only wanting integers, so I'm actually going to have to write 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right. Now, let me put this one bigger so we can see. All right. If x is, now I'm just going to look at this. x is greater than negative 1. So negative 1 is here. x is greater than that. So it's going this way. All right. But it's also equal to. So it's equal to negative 1, so that equal, greater than, and equal to, but x is also greater than negative 1, so it's all of these numbers. But we're doing integers. Integers are just the numbers on the number line, not only in between. So I basically end up putting dot, 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 showing that it's going greater than, Negative 1, and it just keeps going. Okay, but that's the first one. Now let's look at this one. And x is less than 6. Well, here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's less than 6. Okay, but it's not equal to 6. It's not equal to this, but it's just less than 6. So just the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and negative 1. Okay, now, um, because this thing is together, they want to include 
all of these that are together. So it's greater than or equal to negative 1. It's greater than or equal to that, but it's less than 6. So I actually have to erase this one because, and the 6 even, because it's less than 6, not doesn't equal 6, doesn't equal, okay? It's actually just less than 6, so 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, but it's greater than and equal to negative 1. So it's in between these two. Do you see how that works? Hopefully that makes sense. All right? And the best way you would probably see this would be um, negative 1 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or 6. That's kind of how they would like you to write it, this whole thing written out. Okay? With the x, one of them, just one of them in the middle. Okay? And this is how it is graphed. Let's do a few more just to make sure you're getting it. Okay? Now, um, let me say one more thing. This is called a conjunction, um, okay? Uh, disjunctions are ones that are or. Um, the, um, the con I'm going to write this down. Conjunction are ands, meaning they, they have to be inclusive. It has to include this and this, not or. So you have to do exactly what matches both of them, and, both. Okay, but disjunctions, which is the one we're going to learn about next, disjunctions is or. So we're going to write down those two things. Conjunctions are ands, and they have to match the exact, both of them, what both of them um, reach and have. Um, the disjunction is or, so you do one or the other. So we'll talk about what that means. Okay, so let's do a disjunction, the or ones. All right, here's what an or one looks like. And they're actually easier because they're already broken up. X is greater than or equal to 3. Or X is less than or equal to negative 2. And then it tells me this. My domain, D, is integers. Again, we're graphing integers. Okay, so here we go. 0. Alright, so if X is greater than 3... Let me go and graph 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, if x is greater than 3, here's 3, and x is greater than that, but it's also equal to, so this one, this one, this one, and this one, x is greater than or equal to 3, or x is less than, where's my negative 2, it's less than negative 2, but it's also equal to, so I'm filling that in, but it's also less than, okay? So this or this, all right? So this or this, and that's how you would graph it, and since it's integers, it's not what's on the inside, so I don't fill it in, I just do the dots on those parts, okay? Let's do another one, last one. All right, and I'm going to go and leave this graph up here. All right. This next one says x is less than 15 or x is less than or equal to 10. And then they tell me my domain is real, reals which mean real numbers, basically all of them. Everything on the inside and the ticks. Okay, so if x is greater than 15, so I'm just going to do 15, and it's greater than 15, but it doesn't equal 15, so I'll open circle it and fill it in, showing that x is greater than 15. Or x is less than 10, let's put 10 here, less than 10, but it's also equal to 10. So, there you go. That's how you would look and see um, that graph. Okay? That's lesson 111.